Well, good morning again um, from Cadiz Dry Dock. I'm stood down in the dock bottom here, trying to find somewhere quiet to um, talk from. So today we're going to have a look at the anchor chains because the anchors were dropped onto, well not dropped, they were lowered onto the dock bottom yesterday and all the chain from the locker was taken out and stretched out onto the quay. So we're going to go and have a little look at that, um, just walking forward in the dock. So just coming up to the anchor chains now, I'm not going to go out onto the, uh, the starboard side because it's really noisy where they are doing the um, hydro blasting and I haven't got my ear protected in. So we're not going to go any further. So here we are, let's have a look at the anchors and the chains and I'll talk a bit about them in a minute. So here are our anchors, obviously two of them, port and starboard. Here's the joining shackles. I did talk about anchoring in a previous video. I'll put that up here for you. But you can see that quite a bit of chain on each side. We talk about shackles when we're talking about chain and the shackles are lengths of chain. Now, they are around about 27 and a half meters long, used to be 90 feet in the old days, and they are joined at those lengths by joining shackles called Kenta shackles. And this is one here. You'll notice that this shackle is slightly different in shape to a normal link, and this is, we can actually split the chain here if we need to. In here, you can't quite see it, but there's a pin that runs through and we can knock that pin out. The center stud comes out and we can break the chain. You'll notice it's painted red. And that is so that we can tell at a quick glance that that is the joining shackle and normally we paint the links either side of the joining shackle in red, I beg your pardon, in white to denote the number of the shackle. So if you can see here that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is the eighth shackle. Also, as you can see, the paint gets worn off so we mark the middle of the shackle with an old piece of fire hose and jubilee clips. So when the paint gets worn away, we can still count the shackle. So let's go and have a look along for the next one. This was number eight. So as we go along the chain, While the chain is out, we check it. So here's another one, you see? So here's the Kenta shackle, red. One, two, three, four. So this is the fifth shackle, and so on. So we go over here on the port side. Here's the joining shackle. All the red paint has gone. And this is the one, two, third shackle, and so on. So what we'll do, we'll have a general inspection of the chain. We're looking for any loose studs, any um, obvious signs of wear and tear like cracks, uh, significant wear, and um, things like that. So we'll be looking to maybe change some links around. That's what we're gonna be doing, because obviously we normally only use five or six shackles usually when we're anchoring on this ship and that means that we normally wear the first five or six shackles more than the rest of it which is kept in the chain locker on board so to even the wear on the chain we change around the shackles which means we have to remark the chain so we'll revisit this once it's all been cleaned up and painted. So here's another joining shackle. One, two, three, four, five. So this is the sixth shackle on the port side. So that's a little bit about the anchors. And we'll say we'll come back and have a look at all this once 
it's all been painted up and cleaned and you can see the chain disappearing up on board the ship there. Coffee break, peace and quiet, so let's take advantage by walking underneath the blocks because on the port side of the ship we also have a big hole with scaffolding. And this one is because we have some new machinery coming in. And again, it's far too big to get through any of our normal doors so we cut a hole and take it in the hull and when it's all finished we will stitch the hole back up again so this is the scaffolding tower and we'll have a little look and see what's inside this hole so Let's go for a climb on this scaffolding. Here we go. I tell you what, at the end of any dry dock, you're as fit as a butcher's dog. Up and down stairs, crawling in and out of cubby holes. So here we are. Big hole in ship number two. Well, thank you for joining me. Um, I hope you enjoyed that little uh, look at our anchor chains and cables. Oh, the wind's picked up a little bit here now. And uh, please join me in the next episode where we will be looking at the propeller shaft withdrawal. Here's the propeller shaft here. So we'll be taking out the propeller shafts and we will have a look at the bow thrusters and how they disassemble those ready for maintenance. See you in the next episode.